In this video, I'm going to be putting together a hydroponic system. Uh, this is basically a proof of concept for a better system. The basic idea is have basically a DWC, maybe a floating tray, uh, in the bottom. But this acts as a reservoir. Then from here, there's a pump which brings this water up to this vessel. This fills with water until it reaches this height, which creates a siphon which brings this water down and dumps it into this table. This table either is just a uh, simple, simply has drainage, um, or has some sort of bell siphon which then drains it into a second table, which also has a bell siphon, and then back down to the base reservoir slash DWC. I'm not going to be using a um, timer at all. I'll just have this fill very slowly, so this will effectively be a mechanical timer. The problem with that is I will need to find a way to pump the water in here very, very slowly. Thinking of working out some sort of airlift. For this system, I'm going to be using these tiny, cheesy Rubbermaid tubs. Well, these ones are not made by Rubbermaid, as you can see. But uh, these are about a dollar a piece. Uh, for the bigger system, I'm probably going to be using some of these big trays. These things are meant to slide under beds. They have little wheels on them, but they are sealed. Um, I've got a couple of these that I found after uh, the nearby college got out. The dormitories had dumpsters full of all kinds of goodies outside of them. Uh, these are some small DWCs that I used last summer. Grew some uh, corn in this mildly successfully until I went on vacation and it dried out and died. This is a small cylindrical tube. Um, I think some sort of flashlight thing came in it. Uh, and it's got a cap that fits on. I'm going to be using this for my bell siphon. The uh, idea is going to be that I'm going to drill some holes in this. Drill a hole in the bottom of the tub that fits this so this can snap on and be secured and I'm going to drill a hole in that and run a pipe up to the top. Here it is. I found this little black thing. I think it came from a uh, air pump kit laying around. Um, and it seems to fit in nicely. So this is what it looks like. Some holes in the bottom, the tube inside, a piece of uh, vinyl aquarium tubing. And I've got this hole here, and it all snaps together. Um, undoubtedly, I'll have some leaks there, but uh, it's going to be right over the reservoir anyway. So I'm having a little difficulty figuring out what I'm doing here. Um, I need some sort of seal for a drain plug in this bucket, whether it's another um, bell siphon or just a standard drain hole. I, I want at least one of these to be relatively sealed so it can go on one of the higher shelves and doesn't have to go right above the reservoir. Not worried about the bottom one. Uh, but I've got to figure out what I can do to seal it and I don't really think I have anything particularly appropriate. So I've decided for this proof of concept that I don't actually need this middle tray that is not a piece of chalk. I seem to remember putting the chalk down somewhere over here. Oh. There it is. Okay. So, get that out. So this will drain directly into the ebb and flow t table down here. And this reservoir, I'm just going to put a net cup in. So, this will be a part of a 2 liter bottle. I can draw it more like, no, it's terrible. Um, so, 
now I just need to figure out how to get a net cup in that. Somehow I managed to get over to my desk. Um, my laboratory is a bit of a mess right now. Um, I mean, it usually is, but this is a little bit worse than normal. So anyway, I've got to figure out how to get one net cup onto one vessel. And so that this is quenched, you know, at least up to here, when this is filled to approximately 1.4 liters. So I'm thinking I'm going to just trim this down and then make some sort of piece of plastic or something that this sits in and just drop it on top. Yeah, that's pretty good. So to make this more rigid, I cut up another bottle and I'm just going to force it on top There. It's yeah, a little bent, but that doesn't actually matter at all for this. Uh, as long as it still has a similar volume. I'm not going to use a net cup. I'm just going to use this. This fits in here pretty well. Um, and it's got a few drainage holes, but uh, it would be better with some more. Drill some holes in just the outer bottle here and strung a string through them, tied a couple bones, and um, I'm planning on just draping this loop over the top of a fluorescent light, and then I can adjust it by adjusting a knot in this string. Okay, here it is mostly set up. We've got this bottom tray here, which is basically a DWC. I've got uh, actually three holes cut in it. I used that one before. Um, the third hole is drainage underneath this bell siphon. Uh, this is going to be full of this is the ebb and flow, um, which is filled with this hose, which comes up to this container. I've got uh, some steel wire connected to the siphon hose so that I can easily adjust it. Um, it's pretty floppy and off-center. Hopefully that will uh, improve with the weight of hydroton and water. So now the tricky part, the pump.